Hello everyone, welcome back to Glitz and Glitter. So today I have a project I've been meaning to do for probably a year now. And I've had all these pieces except a few that I just picked up because I really wanted to get it done. And I was reorganizing my closet and I found this piece of wood tray that I had and I forgot I had it. And I figured this was going to be the perfect opportunity to do what I want to do. So what I want to do is recreate the front pond of my home. So we have a large pond out front. We have a river in the back. And we have all kinds of wildlife and things of that nature. And I walk around it every single day, sometimes twice with the dogs. And somebody gave me the idea like a year ago that I should recreate the pond and resin. So that's what I'm going to do today. Well, it's going to take more than one day because I have to build the pond. And I'm going to build the pond with air dry clay. And what I'm going to do is kind of use the clay to taper this down because we have like a hill that goes down into the pond. And I bought some, some of this kind of moss stuff in two different kinds. And I'm going to make the grass, the, like the hill of the grass out of that stuff. And I'm going to paint all of it in the green color when it's dry because our pond is not blue water, obviously. It's a pond. It's dark. So I want to kind of keep it natural. So I have these little tiny stones that I have purchased forever ago. These are small little turtles because we have lots of turtles in the pond because our resident alligators are usually eating them, unfortunately. We do have ducks and geese and birds of all kinds. Um, and here's a little family of that, unless this is a swan. I don't know, could be a swan. Anyway, we have lots of bird families in the pond. Then I bought all these little pieces of grass. I don't know if I'm gonna use them. This one has little flowers on it. I have a few lily pads, but now that I'm looking at them against the tray, I think they're gonna be too big. So I'm not sure I'm gonna use these. Now in the center of our real pond, and I cannot find one anywhere, is like a water fountain, a nice tall water fountain to keep all the water moving and everything good for all the animals, but I can't find one, so I'm not going to do that. So while I prepare all this, I'm going to show you my pond in the next clip, and then we'll come back and start this project. Oh yeah, I wanted to show you what I found. I found some dogs, miniature dogs, because I walk the dogs around the pond every day, and these two kind of look my, like my two dogs. I've got a little Morky and I've got a teddy bear, and those are the most similar. And then here's a bunch of birds that I found, and these were in the miniature section at Hobby Lobby. Okay, now you can see what I'm talking about.
So I'm just going to grab a bunch of this air dry clay. I've never used this stuff before, but it says it dries in three to four days. So I'm guessing that's assuming how thick you make it. So I will not bore you with the details, so I will fast forward. But what I'm going to do is build up my walls because our pond literally has like an embankment and the alligators kind of hang out at the lower part and so do the animals. So I'm just going to kind of manipulate this the best that I can. Like I said, I don't... I never used this stuff before. If you guys have any pointers, I'm happy to take them. I'm just gonna bring it up over this little ledge just to make it a little more natural. But I have a feeling I'm gonna be using most of it. Now I don't care about all the handprints in it because I'm going to be painting it and covering it with that uh, moss stuff. So yeah, I hope I have enough because this is a pretty big tray now that I'm looking at this jar. It has been like two weeks maybe since I've touched this. I had this out in the garage trying to dry. This is so thick. Um, it's dry now, but as you can see, it has pulled away from the edge. So if you're using air dry clay, keep that in mind. It's going to pull away and it's going to shrink. But that's okay with this project because we have a solution for my edge, which I was going to cover my edge anyway. So I'm not worried about that. So I'm just going to keep moving. My next step two things I'm going to do. One, I'm going to paint it green because this is the moss that I'm going to be using for the grass kind of going down the sides. And then I'm using this and I think it's like, um, I don't know, it's like a walnut shell or something. Somebody told me, I think Kimberly mentioned this could be well, walnut shell pieces. I'm going to pour a thin layer of resin for the bottom of the pond in the walnut pieces before I pour the water because I don't want to see that and you're going to see the bottom. So you're going to see this through my water. So before I get started, but I'm going to do this first in my head and then I'm going to do the resin walnut pieces. Let that cure. I could even do that in UV resin maybe because this thing is, like I said, this is taking me forever. Um, and then I have to figure out how to get my my um, moss stuff to stay. So yeah, I don't have this all figured out. I'm learning as I go. The only reason I'm painting this is because I highly doubt I'm gonna get moss to cover every single square inch of this. And the pieces that don't get covered with moss, you won't really notice because of the green color. So that's my thought process behind this. So that's what I'm going to do. I will speed this up for you as normal so you don't have to watch me paint. <laughs> It didn't take too long to dry, so it's ready to pour the bottom layer. What I think I'm going to do, because I don't know how much of this I need, I don't want to guess. I'm going to pour it in the bottom and mix my resin into it that way. That way there's no guessing, no remixing of anything. I just want this all covered. I don't want to see any of that green. And this is going to be the bottom of the pond.
It's a very coarse material, so it probably is the crushed shell is what I'm thinking. Okay, that looks like a good amount. I mixed up three ounces of my Fast Cure, four hour Fast Cure. Whether I use it all or not, I don't know. Like I said, I didn't know how much I needed. Um, and we'll always find something to do with it. So I'm just gonna mix it all up and then re-spread it. And it, I probably will use all of it actually. I just want it coated. I don't want it swimming in this stuff. I, but I do want all of it coated in resin so it will all be hard and cured. Oops. And then once this is cured, I can move on to the grass portion of it. Actually, I'm wondering if that's what I'm going to do. Actually, no. The next portion I'm going to do is actually pour my pond. Because I want the grass to kind of come over that edge that it's going to create around this, this edge here that I'm drawing around. So I don't want the resin that I pour in the pond to come up over the grass because that won't look natural. I'm not even sure any of this is going to look natural, but <laughs> hey, you know, it's something I've been wanting to do for a long time and I'm finally doing it and it's taking a long time. <laughs> But that's okay. It doesn't matter, right? Not all crafts have to take one day or two days. So I think, I, you know, I don't even need to like wait, I guess, till this cures to pour the next layer on it because it's just going to sink to the bottom anyway. I just am going to get it everywhere that I want it and then it, it won't move anyways so I think that's what I'll do then I only have to wait one time for curing the bottom I don't know how much I'm going to need for that either I guess I I don't know we're going to figure it out together now I'm not going to do obviously blue water I am going to tint it maybe an emerald because the pond is dark, it's pond water. It's not blue. That would look stupid. I don't want brown. So I'm thinking like a, just a tint. You probably won't even see the tint, I'm thinking, because of all this that I just stuck on the bottom. But it won't be, I don't want it clear. And I don't want, I don't want it blue. So that's what I'm doing. I'm doing emerald. I'm just trying to smush all this get a little bit deeper because we do have a large embankment around ours which is what this hill is going to be so I don't need it too deep maybe I think in about eight ounces maybe I don't know. Which I think I'm just going to mix up right now and get that poured in as soon as I get this exactly how I want it. I mixed up eight ounces of my casting resin and I picked this dark moss green. I think it's the closest one to what I'm looking for. So I'm going to just tint it split it in two and run it through my vacuum chamber to get all the bubbles out. I don't want bubbles in my pond. Even though my pond has lots of bubbles from the animals, this one's not going to. I know it looks dark, but you're not going to see it like that in here. Just want a tint of the green. Hope I picked the right one. I had a few I was going back and forth with. I think that's going to be good. 
I'm gonna put some of the stuff in there, like little rocks and things after I pour it. I'm not sure. Because I don't want them to sink to the bottom where you're not gonna see them. So I'll have to figure it out as I go. Actually, I'm figuring this entire thing out as I go. I really don't have a plan other than the things that I bought for it. All right, that should be good. I'm gonna check it on a paper towel over here. Yeah, it's good. Good enough. I'm just gonna split it in two. Run it through for a couple of minutes. And then we will pour this. I'm excited, I'm finally getting some traction on this project. Time to pour it in. It's crystal clear. Yep, that's exactly what I was going for. I don't know if you can see the tint to it, but I can. That was four ounces. Not really sure how much, how much I need. I'm just gonna be careful pouring it because I don't want it to bubble again. I have a little bit of dust on the top here, I see. That's probably enough. A couple little pieces in here. I'm gonna grab. Push that down. It's not covered over here, but that's okay. Maybe I'll put my little alligator there on the side. Because he does like to lay up on the bank. But no, because my grass isn't in yet, so I don't want to do that either. Get that out of there. I guess I should cover this up because it looks like things are going to be floating in here. All right, I think that's... Good. Um, I mean, I could probably put, I might mix up like four more ounces. I think I will. I'm going to mix up like four ounces. I'll do that off camera. You know what to do. And then I'll let it cure and we'll, we'll work on it after it's done. Finally starting to get somewhere. So this is nice and cured. It looks like water. I'm using silicone. It's just a tube of silicone. I didn't know what to use. I asked Don, what is thick and gooey and will act like glue? And he's like, what about silicone? So I'm like, of course you always have the answers. So I did test the litter area to make sure. And I'm just gonna squeeze some of this out of here. And this gun isn't working that great. Let me fix this. I think I got it this time. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to squirt it all over the edges, and then I'm going to rub it in nice and thick. This dries clear. All right. So I just basically, and this takes, you know, you don't have to hurry or anything because it, it's not going to dry instantly, Some like some glues. If you guys have another kind of glue that's really gl gloopy like this, let me know in the comments so I will know for next time I need a thick glue. And uh, yeah, because I couldn't think of anything. I didn't want to use like Mod Podge or something like that because that'll dry too fast and it's too thin to hold on to this thick like mossy stuff. So I'm just going to go ahead, go around... I'll show you how I just ripped some of this apart into pieces because it does come in a large chunk and I'm just basically sticking it on. I have a couple different kinds, but I'm not sure I'm going to use the other kinds. Um, I might here and there after the fact, but this is basically all I'm going to do, but I'm going to fill in sections. Once I go around, I may fill in sections with the other stuff. The other stuff is a little lighter green. So I'm not sure um, 
if that's what I'm going to do. So I will fast forward this. It's going to be tedious and time consuming, but I'll let you watch a little. Alright, so I'm coming along. It's not that difficult, actually. It's really pretty easy. I'm just kind of using these now. I get, these are smashed from the mail. I've had these forever, but it, I'm trying to fluff them out and place them randomly as little, you know, flowering weeds <laughs> around the pond. <laughs> So I'm just going to stick them there and I'm contemplating, I wiped this down and now it's leaving streaks. I'm contemplating pouring a thin, thin, thin coat before I place my animals. I have my alligator who loves, we have a fountain in the middle of our pond and the alligator loves to sit on the fountain. The newest alligator anyway, we have them coming and going all the time. So this one's always sitting on the fountain in the middle, and when the fountain goes off, he kind of gets thrown off of there. Um, I could not find a fountain anywhere in the stores. So what I'm thinking of doing is when I do pour the layer of resin, maybe sticking a little island in the center for him to lay on. And then I have a few geese. I think those are geese, I'm not sure. But we do have duck families that live in there. And so far, I haven't noticed any missing. Oh, <laughs> so he hasn't, he hasn't eaten any for a while. Um, I'm gonna probably stick them. I have one more duck somewhere. I have to find him. I have a couple birds over there. I have some rocks and I have some turtles, but I really, I don't wanna have to glue everything down and I don't want all the streaks on here. So I think after I place all these little pieces of, you know, flowering bushes. I'm going to mix up maybe three ounces or so of resin and pour it in and then like place everything in there and then do a final cure until I have done. He's not home right now, but we're going to fix the edge and I'm not going to say what I'm going to do yet because I don't know what he had in his head. He knows what he's going to do. And we will go from there, but let me just throw all these little stinkers in place. Hopefully they'll stay there. They're sticky on the bottom, but that doesn't mean really anything. I might have to go back and... It's not like this thing's going to get moved much. I'm not sure even where I'm going to put it. I just knew that I wanted to make it. So that's where we're at with that. They don't fluff very nicely. They just came completely and utterly smashed last year. And then I never thought about them again until now. I do have some other little ones. They didn't come smashed because they're in this nice little container. So maybe I'll place these somewhere. Let me see how they're attached. Same thing. These are sticky too. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go through since I have them. I don't know what else to use them for. I bought them for this. So I'm just gonna go through again, get all these placed and then mix up some resin. So I'll come back when I, when I pour that. Okie doke, I washed it down with some alcohol while this was, um, this is the tabletop. And I decided to use tabletop because it gets tacky quickly. So that's when you're coating like tables or cutting boards, things like that, countertops. This is the one you would use. So I mixed up three ounces. I took the bubbles out. I just want to shine this back up. I really didn't want to pour after the grass was in, but I see I don't have much of a choice. This is three ounces. And I don't want a ton I just want enough to coat it. 
Maybe I'll just put it all in. There's not much left in here. And I'm gonna push it around with something. Uh, maybe a silicone tool of some sort. I don't wanna like disturb everything in there. Let me see what I have over here. Um, can't find the one I really want. I'm just gonna use something like this. Get it kind of to the edge where the, a lot of the animals hang out so they could get away from that big guy. Hopefully I did enough. I don't want it to separate from itself. Maybe this will hold in all my edges too. So it's probably not a bad thing that I'm pouring later. I will cover it though. One thing I did notice when I poured the actual pond part, all that shell had dust on it. And that was the dust I was seeing on the surface. I'm just gonna spray it. So I'm kind of happy I'm covering up all that dust that floated. Now I'm gonna just move all these pieces of moss that are floating. And they will stay in place once they're, it won't take long. This tabletop stuff is quick. All right, so let's get the big guy in place. Um, since I can't find a fountain anywhere, I want to get some resin on the bottom of him as well. So he'll stick to the plant. He should stick, I don't see why he won't. Okay, now my little family of geese or swans or whatever you want to call them. We'll go there. I have a couple of turtles in black and some in, I have to say, I have seen the Ella and if you guys don't like to hear this, I'd say mute now, but I have seen the alligator crunching on a couple turtles. It's very sad, but I'm certainly not gonna step in and change nature because I value my life too much <laughs> to worry about that. I also have some rocks here that I bought from Timu a long time ago. And we're gonna just place some randomly these are like gemstone rocks I thought they would be pretty oops and just surround this little island I wish I could have found a fountain if I could find the clip of him sitting on the fountain I will put it in here um, I know I have one from a prior video I just don't know uh, where that download went. I'll have to find it. I'm gonna dip some in and stack some. That looks kinda cool. I mean, it doesn't have to be a fountain. It doesn't have to be exact, I mean. You do what you do, right? You can't help what they don't sell. And as soon as Don gets home, and this is dry, there's a piece of something, and then we are going to work on the outer edge 
and add my dogs. All right, so until then, I will see you when he gets home. This alligator just loves to sleep on our fountain. Let me see how far I can zoom in. There he is. It's as far as I can zoom in. So he'll sleep on there until the water fountain turns on automatically and then he goes flying off. So it's pretty funny. I am all finished up. This is the final product. Don put trim around, so I painted it like a sidewalk. I filled in any little openings of the grass that were showing after the trim was on, and then I put my dogs on there. Peanut and Panda. So this is it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed a little something different, a little mixed media. I had fun. It's been a long time coming. I've been wanting to do it, like I said, for about a year. Anyway, I'm glad you stopped in. Thanks for coming and watching. And I will see you guys all tomorrow. I hope you all have a blessed day. Bye.